Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will discuss about the Pi Network. Is it a scam and what is my opinion and what is my research from an hacker for this Pi Network app? So everything will be tackled in this video. So watch this until the end. For those who are new to this channel click on the subscribe button to stay tuned. This video is meant for all of you because I want you to be aware on how to fight back against this bad hacker so watch this video until then. So number one I can read all of your contacts and they can send data to those contacts within your phone that is not really 100 malicious but it is dangerous for a mobile application. So number two what you do in the Pi can be seen within the network so it is also vulnerable in man in the middle attack. So if there's a hacker within your Wi-Fi then probably they can see a lot of data that is transacting within your Pi network mobile. So number 3 Pi app allows a connection to other apps so meaning if you don't know that a malicious app then probably your Pi network mobile app is in danger. Why because that Pi mobile app is allowing the consumption within the other app within your phone that malicious mobile app. Can you now get everything within the Pi network mobile app just because of this? Number 4 It has an insecure data storage so Pi can read and write to external storage of your phone and any app within your phone can read the data that is being written by your Pi mobile network. So technically if there is really a malicious app that is residing or there's a virus or malware residing in your phone then probably your Pi mobile app is in danger. So number 5 debugging is enabled in this mobile app which is really you know this is not the standard because if it is in production then the debugging must you know turn off or it must be disabled. Why if someone stole your phone or and they unlock it then probably even if your Pi Network mobile app is locked out then they can see in the debugging mode or they can have the ability to you to know your username and password for your Pi Network and they can access or they can get everything in it by network. So it must be must be disabled. Number 6 Pi is using vulnerable encryption so they are using CBC with PKCS5 or 730 which is vulnerable to padding oracle attacks actually not just a CBC but they are also using a depreciated encryption method so in D5 and a lot more. So if ever that there will be a leak which I think there was a leak then probably your sensitive information within the Pi Network mobile app is not really secure. Those hackers can see your data if someone like it because the encryption here is not really that secure. Number 7 Your sensitive information is being written in in log files, so imagine if you log in using your username and password you type in something sensitive. Then it's being logged and some hackers if they stole your phone or if they plant any malware inside your phone then probably they can read all of new sensitive information because it is in the log file. Yeah so it must not be logged right or it must not be written in file within your phone. Number 8 it access here unnecessary sensitive information within your phone which is in this is one of the most important thing here for you as a user of Pi Mobile. So number 1 is access to your calendar information so for example you will visit your dentist and probably they will say yes so calendar information and they can also see your files and folders so that includes your photos and videos. So yeah you're if you're hiding some scandals. Then it's not safe if you're having the network up and I can access also your current location and your last location when your phone is turned on so yeah you're not safe if you're hiding from someone if they are in by network for that company. So yeah and this is a function in here in this Pi Network mobile app that is really suspicious because it can hide the current apps icon and who does that right they can hide the current apps icon within your phone and I think the next one makes sense because the next one is it can start another hidden application within your phone so it connects to the other one to the function that can hide up icon and it can start another hidden application. So it is very suspicious and sketchy why they will put that kind of function and lastly I think this is one of the most important they can get your SMS and calls information so they have the ability for that so yeah I think that's 1 to 8 and if you were you know using this mobile app then probably you should consider those kind of tiers because if you are you know if you are. If you want privacy if you want security for your own self then probably you will think twice by you know using this app or maybe if they are watching this then probably they will improve the app self. And if you are from my network then I can send you all the details that I found in the codes that I'm telling here. So I can send you all of those informations all of the complete information so just email so yeah that's it for this video as you can see now. I didn't mention any, you know some common things that they're telling that yeah it is free and what they're getting it is free then there's a lot of people saying that they're getting a lot of information from you which is in this technical analysis. Yeah there's a lot of sensitive information that is being given to them in exchange for those by coin it's up to you if you will use it. And I hope you learned something from this video so until next time see you and don't forget to subscribe.